afternoon folks, it's uh, Martin from Single Track Safari again and we're out riding bikes again. Uh, but today it ain't muddy, yay! And uh, we're in some of our local woods on the South Downs. Uh, this is a cool little area actually, there's a lot of riding up here. And today it's almost dusty, which makes a big change from the last time I was talking to you. So we're going to go that away. And when I say we, that's me and one of my oldest mates in the world. That's him. Say hello Julian. Hello Julian. Yeah, I knew he was going to say that because he's very predictable. So uh, we're uh, doing a ride that we call Wonder Woman and it's uh, about a 35k ride, although I didn't tell him that when we left this morning. So the 35k ride, is that okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's okay. Uh, and uh, it's called Wonder Woman because we've just come from a place called Arundel or Arundel or Arundel. It's hard to know how to say Arundel, Arundel, Arundel. Um, and uh, Arundel, Arundel, Arundel Castle. Uh, was the Nazi den that Wonder Woman attacks? Uh, what is actually, she doesn't attack it. She goes to a ball. She goes to a ball in Wonder Woman, and that's the castle in Arundel. So uh, this ride's called Wonder Woman. It's a big loop around the South Downs, nearly all off road, um, and quite a lot of single track for this part of the world because we have a bit of a problem in that it's not the most exciting bit of the world to ride in. But there's some good stuff in the woods up here. We're in an area called Whiteways at the moment, and Whiteways uh, has lots of single track tucked away in the trees. Um, and today there's lots of pretty bluebells growing. Uh, it's a very nice day. So um, I'm gonna, uh, yeah, gonna go for a bit of a cruise round. We've got a couple of big descents in front of us as well, which is nice because we're up at the highest part of the ride right now. And um, yeah, it's actually possible in Southern England to get a decent descent if you look hard enough. Okay, well, there's uh, another little product thing that I want to test today, uh, which is something else I've recently treated myself to. The sunglasses, by the way, going back to the previous Ramble blog, are very, very good, and they're performing brilliantly in sunlight. They go so super dark, but when you get under the trees, they're perfect. So I'm very, very impressed with them as a quick update. Um, however, just bought some new knee pads from IXS. Now, these are pretty natty. So, as a lot of you guys know, as guides, uh, we nearly always ride in knee pads, um, simply because if we injure ourselves, we can't work. So you'll see us wearing pads most of the time when you're on holiday with us. But these solve uh, one of my biggest headaches, which is that I'm forever having to take my pads on and off all the time. And these new IXS pads, which are a brand new model, have, a flexible zip up the side. So basically, you can open them up to put them on. Now I know there's one or two brands around that are starting to do that, um, but I've not seen it with IXS before. Um, and these have their X Matter stuff inside them, which is the deformable uh, hardening on impact type stuff like D3O basically. Um, so these look really cool, and I'm quite interested to see how they're gonna be when I pedal upwards as much as head downwards. Uh, and I'm going to put them on just as soon as I work out which one is left and which one is right because it's uh, confusing me. So, theoretically, uh, if I've got this the right way up, which I'm pretty sure I have, just uh, find the zip and miss it completely. I've just fucked it up. So, yeah, you run the zip down. At the bottom, there's a little zip garage which uh, obviously keeps things comfortable. So after a bit of faffing, I think, I've, I think I've cracked it. So you want to put them on lower down. Right, so, zip done up. There we go, look, perfect, right. Zip pops into the little zip garage. Bit of attention to detail, there's a little flap here to stop the, the zip from flapping, which I think is quite nice. Then pull them up, like so. One strap around the bottom. If I can actually uh, do that up with my fat fingers. And uh, I've just worked out that it does say left and right, look. There you go, left. Genius. If only I was uh, paying attention at the moment, I needed them to. And as you can see, they're quite slimline ones. Um, hang on, what are you doing there? I'm the wrong way up now. <laughs> He's a useless cameraman, sorry folks. So yeah, they're quite slim. So they've not got a lot of padding around the sides. Um, it's mostly at the front, but actually I noticed that the kneecap does come around the side of my, um, sort of around the side of my knee. So it does give a little bit of side protection, but they're quite slim line, these ones. So I probably won't use them for sort of parky stuff. It's probably gonna, gonna be more trail riding, but they feel 
pretty flexy. Um, and apparently this is a special kind of zip, which actually is a flexible zip. So it will actually bend around and be malleable, which might be why I had trouble doing it up in the first place. But uh, I think once you've got the knack, they'll be fine. But um, I've used other IXS stuff and generally been very impressed with it. So I'm going to give these a go and see how they feel. I got a in the dress, so what you want? I got a lyric, I can spit, so what you want? I'm giving bitches good dicks, so what you want? Hey, hey, so what you want? I get them pop like It's all well and good downhill because uh, you're not really going to notice the helicopter above us, which is being really loud. It's very annoying. God's sake, it's not even a helicopter. It's a Ford Escort of a plane. Uh, anyway, right, so it's when you pedal that you tend to notice whether your pads are comfy or not. So let's do a little bit of climbing and we'll give you an impression afterwards. Uh, but bear in mind, these are literally box fresh. I have never put these on before the moment you just watched me put them on. So, they will be a little bit rough and ready probably at the moment, so they'll probably soften up as I wear them. But, it's a good kind of litmus test to see how they get on. So far so good, pretty comfortable. Uh, have got a huge amount of pain going on uh, in my abdomen, but I'm pretty sure that's not related to the knee pads. It's probably related to the beef and horseradish sandwich and ginger beer that I had at lunchtime. Uh, so uh, that's my fault, uh, but knee pads feeling good uphill as well as downhill, which is pretty cool uh, They're very tight fitting, but I think it's because they've kind of got like a sock fit rather than a, um, a Sort of traditional double strap pad fit. So uh, I'll keep going and see how they get So what you want? I got a bullet in the clip, so what you want? I got a lyric, I can spit, so what you want? I'm giving bitches good dick, so what you want? Hey, 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 so what you want? I got a bullet just show you how easy these are to take off. So, you've got a little zip container, undo the strap there. And done. That's a lot easier than taking your shoes off. So what do we think of these knee pads? Well, they're pretty good actually. Uh, I've been wearing them for the last two hours something like that I suppose um, they're a little bit warmer than what I'm used to I guess because of the sort of like I say the, the kind of sock design that they've got so they come right up the back so there's no sort of, ex sort of exposed area but they feel quite breathable at the same time they haven't shifted at all and we've done some pedally descents which is normally what you find your knee pads start coming loose on um, so yeah first impressions are pretty good so we've uh, just stopped for oh there's my finger We've just stopped for a hops-based recovery beverage. And uh, in front of the wetlands here. So uh, we've been over there on the on the top of that hill. And now we're heading uh, towards the woods over my shoulder that way, uh, which all looks very flat from here, but there's been quite a bit of climbing today. I reckon we'll probably have racked up 600-ish meters, something like that. Something so like that. half decent day and uh, yeah, if, if these knee pads were going to be uncomfortable, it would be on a day like today because it's been really, really hot and sweaty. So uh, the weather is fantastic, nice blue skies, uh, trails are dry, but it's super, super sweaty. So um, yeah, I would be noticing it. So pretty good.